guys, it's MJ, the student act tree. And before we start this chapter, I just wanted to show you this cool app I got. It's called Affinity Designer. And as you can see, I've been making this pretty little picture here of Cape Town. Let me check, you can zoom in. And yeah, so I've been drawing little blocks and doing all that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, let's jump straight into um, the chapter for today which is chapter seven, deferred and increasing annuities. And before I begin, I just want to say, with actuarial science, you are dealing with a lot of mathematics. So do take some time off every now and then to explore your creative side. It will help you stay sane during these exams. Okay, so deferred and increasing annuities. Let's just talk about what exactly they are. Okay, a deferred annuity is an annuity that you take out, but it doesn't start paying right away. Remember, we had the annuities in advance, which as you activate them, they pay immediately, um, and then the first of the month thereafter. You also get the, annu the other annuity, annuity due, which when you get it, it pays at the end of the month. So there is like, it's almost deferred for 30 days or whatever the month is. Um, a deferred annuity kind of takes this a little bit further, and that says that this deferment period can be can be anything. We can specify it, and we specify it by using the letter M. So if this was one, um, with this this is the symbol for deferred, and this was two little dots, it would equal the annuity due. So an annuity in advance deferred by one month would be an annuity due. If, the, if we're talking monthly annuities, if we're talking yearly, then it'll be deferred by a year. But what we can do now with the M is we can have, um, we can make this period whatever we want it to be. In insurance, there's normally like a six month waiting period. Um, so, you know, that's where it could come in. Um, or let's say, sorry, probably a much better example than that is, I'm gonna retire at age 65, I'm 50 now, I purchase an annuity today, with a deferment period of 15 years. And what I'm doing is I'm locking in certain economical factors and that's why I want it done. Speaking about the economy, that's also why you might want to get these things known as increasing annuities. We know that inflation eats away um, the monetary value of your cash. And so one way to combat this, because remember insurance, like I said, you're buying it now and only 15 years time you're going to get it. Um, inflation could hurt you quite badly. So what you can do is you can have an annuity that increases with time. And the idea is that this increase matches inflation. So and this will so the, the annuity will be increasing by a percentage. We call this type of annuity a compound increasing annuity. And it is very easy to calculate mathematically. You use simply this formula, but don't learn the formulas off by heart, go through your notes, go draw out the whole geometric progression, see why it condenses to this formula. So don't be lazy and just learn this formula. But in the test, if you, you, know, you uh, need a lot of time or, or you know, you're pressured in time, you can quickly recall this formula and get on with it. But it is important that you understand why, what is happening. And it is quite interesting is you'll have a V and an I think one plus I factor that combat with each other and they condense down into this formula. But I do recommend you go through that process for yourself. So very important to explore this material and just wrestle with it. So that's compound increasing annuities. They are easy. The test will try and make it difficult by saying when it does apply or they'll make the interest rate change halfway in but you should be able to handle that after doing a few exam questions and practicing this stuff. Another big thing that I must just mention in this video is this formula over here, okay? And what it is, or, or what you must do when you deal with these whole annuities is, I don't know if you guys played that game Tetris, but Tetris is a great game because, you know, you build a little blocks and you see the shapes and stuff. Almost draw Tetris blocks when you do these annuity questions. So a typical question would be, I have an annuity that starts at say $1,000 and it's gonna increase by $100 um, every year afterwards. So 
Bearing that example in mind, what would P and Q be in this example? A lot of people make the mistake of setting that the initial annuity is 1000. So they say it's 1000 and then they add on the additional annuity. And you can do it like that, but that really complicates your time periods over N. What is better to do is to make your P 900. So you have a 900 level annuity, and then you have, so you make your Q 100. So what you're doing, and you put them on top of each other, so you have the one, th the, sorry, the 900 annuity at the bottom, level annuity, and then a 100 increasing annuity, which means at time zero, or the first payment, it will be 1,000, the next one will be 1,100, and so forth like you want, but you will be using the same time periods, the same type of annuity, and this just makes the mathematics a lot easier and a lot quicker to calculate. So do bear that in mind. But these things do get interesting. I mean, you can increase continuously and there's various other ones that you can do. So practice some exam questions. It does get a little bit mathematical, especially when you start looking at continuous uh, increasing um, because then integrals start coming in and it starts getting quite interesting. Um, but yeah, have fun with it. It is I don't know, it's, is it difficult? I found it difficult the first time I did it, but then it, it becomes very easy and you use this later on in other actuarial exams. So get a good grounding with it, um, but yeah, that is just a quick little summary or introduction to this whole deferred and increasing annuities, which is chapter seven of subject CT1. And remember, if you want to have a break, go and make some art. It is... I mean, I've been having a lot of fun with this thing. Um, I'll certainly add in a few more buildings and I don't know, do something with it. But hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, click subscribe if you have not done so already, as I will be making some more for the other chapters. Cheers, guys.